Hi, I'm Marlon Walker and I'm live from Pelham's Wasteland and today I have another episode of March Character Creation Madness for you guys. This time it's the Hero's Journey 2nd Edition by James Spahn or Span, I don't know how you pronounce his name, but um, it's through Barrel Rider Games and Gallant Knight Games. Um, great little uh, OSR game, takes a lot of inspiration from things like the One Ring, um, is designed for a more kind of Tolkien-esque feel to your uh, OSR game. So there's some really cool stuff about the Hero's Journey that I like a lot. I've done one video on it already, and um, I wanted to do some more stuff for it. So one of the cool things is the Hero's Journey 2nd Edition has its own attribute system. So the attributes are, rather than strength, dexterity, constitution, intelligence, wisdom, charisma, they are might, finesse, resolve, insight, bearing, and wheel. So we are going to create a hero um, with those attributes. And we're going to use a slightly different, it uses a universal attribute bonus. So rather than like AD&D style where you get, you know, certain bonuses or penalties that are not um, universal across the board. So like you could have a bonus to hit without a bonus to damage or a bonus to damage without a bonus to hit for strength. Um, this uses just a flat system. We're going to use a slightly different table than this. 18s are going to give a plus 3. 17s or 16s are going to give a plus 2 and 15s 14s and 13s are going to give a plus 1 below that is nothing down to penalties so the idea is that the attributes are going to have a little bit of a bigger effect on characters than they um than they would in um other situations right so what we're going to do is we are going to make uh, at least one, maybe two characters. I'm not sure. Um, I think we are going to start with an elf. That seems fun. And what we're going to do is we're going to roll basically um, 4d6, drop the lowest for any 3d6. And then when we have a 2d6 plus 6, like their finesse level, we're going to roll 3d6, drop the lowest plus 6. So basically we're going to have a little bit higher than average stats. So um, let us start. And then I'm also going to say that um, once per set of attributes i'm going to do down the line attributes but once per set i'm going to be allowed to re-roll one of them if i don't like the roll and i don't have to take the new roll although i probably will because i will probably use it for a particularly low roll but anyway so let us get into it so slash r 4 d 6 dl one That is a 14 for might. All right, 14 might gives us a bonus of to hit and damage by plus one. Let us do finesse, which is actually gonna be 3d6, drop the lowest one plus six. That's only an 11. That's terrible. All right. Then we're going to do Insight and Bearing, because that uses the same roll. Insight of 12 and Bearing of 16. Insight of 12, Bearing of 16. And then we're going to do our low stats. So Resolve of 12 and Wheel of 5. We do not have great stats. Our Wheel of 5 is not great, but I think we need our finesse bonus to be a, an elf. So I'm going to reroll finesse for an 18. That's better. So our resolve of 12 gives us a um, 9, 10, 11, 12 is a plus 0. Our finesse of 18 gives us a plus 3 to hit and to AC for. Um, or to, to prevent being hit. Our insight of 12 gives us no bonuses. Our bearing of 16 gives us a bonus of two 
hirelings, plus two hirelings and plus two reaction rolls. And our wheel of five gives us minus two for uh, rolling with advantage during the session, which I think that just means that we don't get any bonus rolling with advantage. But anyway, we do not have good enough stats to be a wizard. I think we will be a swordsman. That seems good. So elf class swordsman. All right, weapons. Nope, not that. Um, we are going to put down our abilities. So blade and bow. Ageless. Friend of the Woodland Realm. Elvish Senses. Star Sight. All right, and that gives us all of our stuff for the elf. Um, there might also be, let me check. There's some cool new options in um, the hero's companion. So I'm, uh, I'm looking a little bit at that. But I think that is going to be that. Archetypes, which is the class, basically. So archetype of swordsman seems good. Which will give us eight hit points. Or eight endurance. 1d8. We get an attack bonus of plus one. A saving throw of 15, a defense of plus 3. That gives us a total defense of 16. And an acrobatics at rank 1. And acrobatics is a um, 1d6. So, let's see. Uh, <laughs> it's acrobatics. Acrobatics. 1d6. Acrobatics 1, Defense Bonus, Lightning Reflexes, Master Swordsman. The finesse of swordsman with a finesse of 15 or higher may fight with a short blade or dagger in their offhand. This can a second weapon attack each combat round with damage inflicted being determined by the weapon wielded. Nice. Florentine style. We get a saving throw. Do. Hero, um, avoid trap advantage and XP bonus for finesse, which is going to be a 5% bonus. We don't get any XP bonus for being an elf, so we just get the 5 XP bonus. And we need might 6, finesse 8. We definitely have that. 
Um, yeah, so let us add some equipment. Weapons and armor. Uh, long blade. Short blade. Hit roll is 1d20 plus 1 plus 1 for the... Um, let's go back to swordsman. Uh, defense bonus, master swordsman, hack and damage. So that's going to be 1d20 plus 4. Is we get a plus one to attack, plus one to hit, and we get plus one, so that's going to be plus three to damage for a d8. It's four and plus three. So pretty deadly, pretty deadly indeed for the long blade and the short blade, since we can wield both of them as a swordsman. Um, do do do. All right. What other equipment do we need? Melee weapons. We probably want a missile weapon. So let's do a short bow. It's also a plus four to hit and no bonus to damage. A 1d6 plus 0. Then what else? We need some armor. We can take a brigandine, which is a 2 reduction value. Not going to use a buckler because we have our short blade. Um, is that everything? Oh, we need to roll our um, background skill, our profession. For an elf, it's slash R1 D100. 77 for an elf, unskilled. Reroll that just to see. Thirty for an elf is a groom. That's that's cool. Common elven groom skill. Age, age less. Gender, female. Height, tall. Weight. Thin. Thin. Alignment. Good. All right. Um, <laughs> I think that's everything. I think that is everything for this character. So that took only a couple of minutes. Um, I think we will create another hero, and we will call this one... Um, Levintha. Levintha. One hero. Let's make another hero just because I really like. I really like the Hero's Journey Second Edition. It's it's a lot of fun to roll up stuff. So let us go back here, and we are going to play a. What's our, let's do one of the companion archetypes. Let's do like Scion maybe. Scion is really cool. Scion is um, a uh, special human variant for um, 
basically characters, you know, like Duna Dane or something like that. So forty six dropped the lowest one for might. Sixteen. Same for finesse. Fifteen. Sixteen. Fifteen. And then it is uh, same for Insight, 12, for Resolve, and Bearing, Resolve of 15, Bearing 14. The Wheel. Seven. Let's re-roll our wheel just because. Ten. Still no bonuses or penalties, but you know, that's good. Um, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus two, plus two. And we will be we will have um, our spells or abilities. Practiced Swordsman. Legacy of Hidden Lore. One. Ancient Majesty Revealed. Healing Hands of Old. Noble Legacy. All right, and then we are, let's go back to double check. What is the, uh, that would be cool, face worn. Let's see what the face worn does. It's a, a night bonus. Hmm, mm -hmm. let's use the regular night stuff for this character. Knight. Might 8, resolve 8, bearing 8. We have all of those. So we get 8 endurance. We get uh, weapon. Pun armor restrictions. Hospitality. Oath of fealty. Tournament Champion. Despair. And we only have a bearing of... 14, so we do not get bonus XP for high bearing, but that's okay. That's still pretty cool. Um, get our attack bonus. Let me see how I put it on the Vintha. So, 
So, long blade plus five, eight plus two. I don't think we get any bonus for damage. Lance, mace. Any plus five, d plus five, plus four, two, and then we will go to equipment section. Look at what does a lance do? One d ten. Nice, big hit from a lance for our knight. A mace does one d six. And we're not going to have any ranged weapons because knights don't fight with ranged weapons. I'm just kidding. They can if they want to, but it seems like they mostly don't. Um, we are going to have Horselet PR4 for our armor. Um, Gonna have a uh, small shield plus four defense. All right, so that gives us a uh, small shield, or that gives us a fifteen AC or fifteen defense. Probably could get a large shield if we wanted, although it would make our attacks be a disadvantage. So I think we'll leave it with a small shield. Um, race, scion, human, age, gender, male, height, tall, weight, heavy, Class, knight, attribute, bearing, alignment, good. All characters are assumed to be pretty good in First Journey, Second Edition. Um, oh, and we need to roll our um, backup, our, our profession that we had before being a adventurer. So. Slash R one D one hundred twenty three for a human fisherman common fisherman skill. All right, anything else that we need? We have our armor. So this is one of uh, there are a number of really cool things. And do we have? I think we start with a horse. Because we are a knight. That would make sense to me. Uh, transportation gear. War horse medium. All right. Um, <laughs> anything else that we need? I think that is everything. Have our weapons. We have our armor, our gear. We haven't done any type of like adventuring gear, but I think we're not going to worry about that too much. Um, So let's uh, <laughs> yeah, 
Um, here is Journey 2nd Edition. It's really cool. If you do not have it, you should get it. If you have it but don't have the Hero's Companion, you should get the Hero's Companion. It adds a ton of really cool stuff, like the Scion Ancestry, um, the Scion Lineage, um, and a whole bunch of other really cool ones. Skin Changer, Tree Folk, the Wayfarer Archetype, which is basically the class, Variant Archetypes, um, which give you a whole lot of really cool options. Um, there's there's just a ton of really cool stuff in this game, um, and it, I think, plays really well in play. We are going to call this character... Mirdathor. Mirdathor, the human scion. All right. That is going to be it for this episode. Like I said, Heroes Journey 2nd Edition, it's so good. You should go ahead and get it if you don't have it. Um, there is no actual Roll20 sheet for this. This is all my edits, which is why it looks like this here, because I do not know how to do all the stuff that um, people who are really good with Roll20 know how to do. But, um, yeah, I... Uh, I know I know a little bit, so I can I can make it say might finesse resolve. So anyway, um Hero's Journey Second Edition. It's great. Go get it. Um otherwise, I hope you are enjoying March Fantasy Career March Character Creation Madness. Not fantasy character creation madness, because we haven't done all fantasy games. But March Character Creation Madness has been a super fun project so far. I'm having a blast with it, and I hope you are too. So I've been Arlen Walker, I've been live from Pelham's Wasteland, and I will see you next time. Take care, everybody.